Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us. And today we are painting a lot of legs. <laughs> That's the you crowd going voice? wild. Oh, so we're making team pennants. So these are really fun. They're like sports teams or maybe you're on an art group Ooh, team. Math league. Math league. Chess team. <laughs> So we are making our own pennant or a flag. So the supplies we are using is we're using, I'm gonna use a half sheet of paper this time instead of a really big one because I wanna make this into a triangle. And then a few other things that you need that are a little bit different is we're gonna use a white Posca pen, which is a white pen. Now, if you have other colors of this, I would go grab that out, but this is what we're gonna use to make our white letters like we see here. And then you also need a pencil because we're gonna be drawing our triangle. And then I also want you to grab a pair of scissors because we're gonna be cutting those out. Now the, oh, can't forget, sorry, a ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, I'll show you how you can do something else. So don't worry if you don't have a ruler. Now we are using our watercolors. We like to use watercolors here. So you'll need a cup of water of some sort, your palette, your paintbrush, and then because this is your painting, you can make it any color. So if you wanna go and grab any colors you have, I'm gonna show you the colors that I have. If you would like to follow along, I have rose red, tiger orange, deep blue, and sepia. Good colors. Yeah. Now, okay. We are going to start out with our with our motto, which is our saying that we do before we paint to get us ready. So raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so the first step is, is I want you to grab your pencil. And like I said, if you have a ruler or if not, Let's see, what you can grab is another piece of paper or anything else that has a, an edge, and I'll show you how we can use that. So with our pencil, what we're doing is we're making a triangle. Now, this is a rectangle right now, but what I want you to do is somewhere in the middle on the right side, I want you to draw a dot. It's okay if it's not exactly in the center, but somewhere around there, do you see my dot there? Yes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from my dot to this corner over here, the bottom left corner, and you're gonna take your ruler or your paper, and this is a little bit short, so maybe I'll use this one. And you're gonna go and line up from your corner to the dot, and you're gonna draw a line. And then repeat, but on the other side on the top. So go from the top, to my, find my dot, there it is. Corner to dot. And guess what you made? A triangle. Nice. Good job. Okay, now I want you to grab your paintbrush because we are going to paint. Now you, like I said, you get to make this any color because this is your painting. But what we're gonna start with is, is we're gonna start with the left side. So on some of them, they have, I don't know what this is called actually. I wonder if there's like different anatomy or border. ways to make a pennant. The border, the edge, edge of your pennant. Now, I just thought of something. If you painted our sports jersey yes. project, what if you do similar colors? Oh. So then you have your jersey and you have your team pennant to go with it. That's a good idea. Plan ahead. Yeah. That's or if idea. you want to do other colors, I know you, I want you to do your own colors, but I thought of that. So I'm going to do a blue and a red. So let me squeeze out some of my colors. So I got blue and a red. So we're going to start with the edge or the border. So dip your brush in water because that's what we do to get a little bit of water. Hit it off to the side and then pick up your color and we're gonna paint the edge. So what I want you to do is I want you to just put your paintbrush to paper. Now, I'm going to the edge and it's okay. If you need to add something to the bottom of this, if your table can't get dirty, make sure to add something. But here's what I wanna show you, is when I'm painting, I'm not pushing down really, really hard and going like this. If you look at where my hand is, I am right-handed, so I'm on the right side of this and I'm dragging, let me get more color, 
and I'm painting and dragging down. Do you see how that's helping me make a line? Yep. Now, if you're left-handed, you'll do the same thing. You're gonna go left side and you're gonna paint down. So I'm not painting here and smushing. I'm not painting like this and smushing. I'm just kind of using this edge of the brush to paint. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Next step is to pick your next color. Now you may want to mix some colors. You can mix colors, or if you have your color ready, you can go that, do that. Now I want you to learn because we're here to learn. So this is wet. So if I were to paint right away, it would blend into the color. Now, mm. if you were okay with that, then go for it. Maybe your colors on your Jersey are purple. That's true, yeah. And so you if you're okay with the red money. border and blue paint. And when I did it, actually, you can see mine did blend a little bit. So if you are okay with that, then you can go for it. If you want to have a crisp line, you either wait and be patient, or if you have something like this, this is our heated craft tool, and it will dry it a little bit. So you have options of what you can do. So I'm just gonna heat that up a little bit. Now, let's go to our next color. So dip your brush in water, pick up the color, and we're gonna paint. I'm gonna paint the whole thing. And I'm gonna kind of go close to the edge, but maybe not go exactly to it, just in case it's not fully dry. Ooh. <laughs> and you can either do, I'm trying to think of some ideas. You can make this, Keenan mentioned an ombre before in another tutorial. Yeah, the Jersey tutorial. Yeah, so maybe this goes from dark blue to light blue. We can try that. Do you want okay, me to try yeah, that? do it. So I'm gonna do dark blue, so add more blue over here. And then I'm gonna paint with water as it goes through. Goes to the right, so I'm adding more water. So water to any color makes it lighter. That looks cool. Sweet. So it's making light blue, and guess what? What? It's okay if you paint outside the lines, I'll show you. Oh, I know, I love this project for that. <laughs> because we're gonna cut it out. So it's okay. So there we go, so I went from my dark blue to medium to light. Cool! Now, this is when we actually need our painting to dry. So this time I want you to grab a snack. So go take a snack break, or if you have your heated craft tool, and then meet me back when this is fully dry because we're gonna add another layer on top of it. Go. Nice. Okay, sweet, so my painting dried. Now the next step is we're gonna use our Posca pen. So Keen and I were talking and I wanted to bring this up because this is how we learn and grow is that it's a little bit lighter over here. So I'm gonna kind of test it out. My white pen marks may not show up as well. So I might want to do a little darker color on top of it, but I'm gonna try it out. But I just want you to know that that's something that may happen if yours is a really light color. Now, for a Posca pens, if this is your first time ever using one, we have a how to start guide that gives simple directions. So the first thing is, is you're gonna close your cap and I want you to shake it. Shake it for 10 to 15 seconds. Now, if you have never, or even if you have used your Posca pen before, we're kind of waking it up. So shake it. And basically we're moving around the, let me get an extra piece of paper. We're moving around the paint that's inside of this and you hear that little ball. So I'm gonna pump a few times up and down. Oh, and there we can see it's starting to come out and then you're gonna test it out. Sweet, so it is working. Now, we're gonna start with writing your team name. Yes. So you can either write your team name or you can write, what did I have here? I had let's go or champs or go team. All stars. What should I write? Let's write, hmm, you should write probably go team. Go team, okay. Or be brave. That's cool. Yeah. Like that, that's part of our motto. Okay, good idea. So you're going to use this just like you would 
with any pen. So you can either write all capital letters, but I'm gonna put B right here, and I'm gonna put Brave all the way over here. So it fades away like the crowd screams. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the white kind of shows up. Nice. That works. So I wrote it once. Now, for the other part is that you can also make the letters thicker. So my letters are a little bit thin right now, but if I go, this is a little, it might be a little wet, so just go a little bit around it, and I'm gonna make my letters thicker. So do you see how I'm just kind of adding lines next to it, next yeah. to it, kind of double up and color in? So you're gonna make it, wow, look at that difference between the B and the E. So much different. So I'm coloring it in now. If you use this pen, it will start to get a little bit dry. So you might need to shake it again and then pump it a few times. So we're gonna do that. Oh, that was a lot of paint. Shake it, don't break it, uncap it, and make it. Wow. It's like a Is team, that your team? It's like a team chant. Team cheer? Yeah. Team chant. I'm so curious for those of you who are painting with us, do, are you on a sports team or any type of team? Keenan said a math team. Yeah. And what is your team name? Growing up, I played soccer and my team was called the Strikers. The Strikers? That was my team name. Ooh, that's cool. And as a kid, we were called the Angels. <laughs> but that was when I was like five. Like the, is it Los Angeles? <laughs> no, we were just, I don't know. Angels, right? Isn't that a baseball team? The Angels? That's Anaheim. Anaheim. That's a baseball team, yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so I wrote Be Brave. Now, the E did kind of disappear a little bit, so what you can do is you can either use other colors or you can use watercolors. And I wanted to show you is that Posca pens come in so many different colors, so we have all these other ones, there's a few different sets. These are really, really pretty. That actually, if you wanna watch Coloring with Keenan or Creating with Keenan, mm -hmm. him and his daughters used all the different colors. Yes, we do. So maybe I'll use some of those in a little bit. But the next part is, is we're going to add some decoration. So we have our base, base basically. Now, on the yeah. edge. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> on the edge is we're gonna add dashed lines. So what to do that is you're gonna draw a short line and then leave space, short line, leave space. And this, it kind of looks like the stitching or the embroidery that keeps the edge and the pennant together. So you can do that. You can add, maybe you add a star. Maybe you add if you have a little team mascot you can draw that over there that would be fun you can also like i said if you have different colors maybe i'm going to outline the star so you can do this with different colors of posca pens or if you don't have that let me show you another thing you can do is if you want to make your lettering pop is maybe you go back to your watercolors and grab your brush and if you have a small brush this might be a little bit easier I'm gonna use my small brush, dip it in water. And you can kind of like what I did here actually, is on this one, is so you can outline and add a line on the outside of your letters. Ooh, cool. So they pop. And if you don't have a thin brush, what I'm gonna do is you'll see from the side cam, is I'm just really lightly touching the paper. So my brush is all the way up in the air instead of on the side, kind of what I was teaching you here. And that way you can get a thin line. Those thin lines look good. So we can outline it. Maybe you do this in a different color. You can also, another thing you can do is you can add another border. So maybe I'm gonna draw a line like that. Maybe on the edge. So again, this is your painting. So you get to have so much fun. Be 
brave. I think I'm gonna mix it up, see what happens if I use a different color. Okay. Ooh, it kind of makes Ooh. it purple. Ties in well with your uniform still. Oh yeah. Sweet. Growing up, Keenan, what sports did you play? Um, I was only in two years of soccer from 12 to almost 14. Um, it was about eight weeks of each season. And I was fast. <laughs> That's what I brought to the team. Mm -hmm. Speed. Yes. My first year, we won one game out of roughly eight. Oh, that one. And my second game, we won all but one. Your second my year? My second season, yeah. Nice. So yeah. the opposite. Yeah. Did your team change? Did you uh, get just better? Just slightly. Changed just slightly. That's a pretty great improvement. It was. It was a great time, too. That's fun. Okay, so as we were talking, I finished my Be Brave, and I outlined it. So you can add some, let's see, it was fun. We had two of our boys who were filming or doing the photo shoot with us. They were painting theirs. They are... Um, Sarah's, not Sarah Gray, a different Sarah that we have. Her dot, her sons were with us and they added some decorations. They added some dots. <laughs> I just really see the smiley face. <laughs> got some triangles. Then we got over here. James did some cool, it looks like confetti to me. It does look like confetti. It made me think of a donut actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so those are a couple few things that you can add to yours. Now the very, very last step is grab your scissors and you're going to cut out your pennant. So we're gonna cut along the edge with scissors. One. Sometimes I don't cut on the lines, that's okay. Two. Nice. Look what you made. That looks sweet. You made a pennant. And again, there's so many different ones that you can make. Maybe you make another one. Maybe you invite your friend or your family to paint with you. How fun is this? Super fun. These can be happy birthday pennants, <gasps> Ooh. right? Or you're, I'm trying to think of other things that you can make it for. You can just make it for a friend. You can make them for yourself. You can make it for your teacher. You can say best teacher ever. Yes. There are so many different ideas and you are so creative. You are an artist and I'm so happy that you're here painting with us. So thank you for being here. And we want to give a shout out, which speaking of how I said grab a, a friend or family member, we have Lucas and Alex. So this is a photo of them and they painted with their grandma, who they call their Mimi. Uh -huh. And they did a wave and they did, this is from our Ocean Life box, which is actually, it's kind of similar to a Posca pen, but it's our favorite gum marker. So that's another yeah. really, really fun project. But I want to give a shout out to them for painting together and showing that we can all do this as a family. So share with us what you have, what you made. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Our Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Our Kids. And we wanna see what you make. So thank you for being here. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>